Hello viewers, this is Nobel Shah. Once again, welcome you all to my online tutorials. In my previous video, I have discussed about forest and root domain controller, and I already discussed how to promote a server machine as a root domain in a new forest. In today's lesson, I will going to I am going to discuss about the tree domain controller how to promote tree domain controller in an existing forest means you have already a forest and you are just going to create a tree domain controller in that forest okay so as you know what you have to do the there are some prerequisites like change the computer name to a friendly name and then specify a static ip address and obviously you have to make sure that machine is connected with a physical network and then you need to install a role which is active directory domain services okay to speed up the process i already installed the role which is active directory domain services and then when you click the notification area you will see the option promote this server to a domain controller the people's who do not know how to install role active directory domain services in a server machine uh, please uh, check my previous video i have already discussed it on that video so click the promote this server to a domain controller option and from the deployment configuration window select the second option which is add a new domain to an existing <coughs> forest okay and then from the select domain type option specify the tree domain okay and you need to specify the forest name in the forest name dialog box uh, in my case my forest name is orange, orange. And then the new domain name, what will be the new domain controller name? In my case, I am using a name which is dhaka.net. Okay. Make sure you use the fully qualified <laughs> name here because it is going to a domain controller. Okay. If we create child domain, we just need to specify the name of the domain controller, not the fully qualified domain name. But if it is a tree domain controller, you have to specify whether it is dot com dot net dot org dot info like this and obviously you need to make sure you specify the credential of enterprise admin of your forest okay so here i can see uh, the option which is no credential provided so i must provide the credentials to work so click the change button and here first type your forest name which is orange in my case and then a backslash and then the username which is a member of enterprise admin group okay so in my case it is administrator username administrator when you type make sure you type it correctly and then the password once you specify the username and the password click the ok button and click the next button Uh, let me tell you one thing if you find difficulty when you are going to promote a machine as a domain controller as a tree domain controller uh, you need to check one more thing like whether you have specified the dns address of your forest in the tree domain machine okay if you do not specify the dns uh, server address in your tree domain machine it will not promote okay so make sure you have specified that dns entry in the machine that you are going to make a tree domain controller that will be your forest dns address okay please hold on it is taking some time but it will not take too long right so we got the second 
phase which is domain controller options here i can see the functional level of new domain uh, which is by default windows server 2012 as we are actually creating domain controller in a windows server 2012 operating system so the do uh, default domain functional <coughs> level will be windows server 2012 and then here in the specified domain controller capabilities and site information you can choose whether this server will act as a dns server or not whether this server will act as a global catalog or not okay if you do, do not want you can uh, always uncheck if you want and then look at the site name option if we click here you will see two options the first option is default first site name and then second option is dhk actually i have created a site name dhk that is why i am seeing two options but if you work with a fresh forest where there is no existing site you will get only one option which is default first site name okay this is the default first site for the domain controller so in this case i am just selecting the default option which is default first site name and here you need to specify the directory service register mode password it can be different from your domain controller password but obviously it should also a uh, complex password okay you cannot specify a normal password here you have to specify a complex password and why we need this in some case if active directory have some problem we need to restore the active directory and that time you need this password so that is why it is called directory services restore mode okay for some other function as well like if you want to uh, make any modifications of your active directory domain services or maybe it have some problem you need to uh, defragment the active directory domain services so that that time you need actually this password so you need to specify a complex password here and then click the next button okay uh, as i said in my previous video first time when you will promote a machine as a domain control you will get this message which is a delegation for this dns server cannot be created because the authority authoritative parent zone cannot be found it is not any error message it is just an information uh, that you do not have any authoritative server in this machine okay so just click next button well make sure you have got the netbias name here as you specified and then click next button once again right and uh, here in this window you can specify the database folder path the log files folder path and the sys vol folder path if you want to change it just click the option here and specify where it will be saved okay and if you want to keep it default just do not change anything click the next button review your selections what you have selected once you are sure about it just click the next button now it is checking your machine whether this machine is able to configure as a domain controller or not so it is prerequisite check it is checking your machine the processor speed the ram requirements and then the os requirements everything whatever you need to uh, make this server as a domain controller so if it is successfully checked and passed you will be able to promote this machine as a domain controller okay so it will take some time but not too long please hold on right as i can see that all prerequisites check pass successfully so no problem at all to install so click the install button so 
so it's gonna take some time uh, let me pause the video and once it is finished I will get back to you please hold on okay as I can see my domain controller already promoted the server was successfully configured as a domain controller and now the machine will restart automatically and once it restarted you will get the login prompt and you can log into your new domain controller okay so that is all about our three domain controller how to promote a machine as a domain con three domain controller in my next video i will discuss about uh, some other domain controller options like child domain additional domain controller read only domain controller etc okay till then you guys take care and have a good day bye bye